This video was presented by the EA Creator Network. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking an all-inclusive look at the Sims 4 Crystal Creations Stuff Pack. I don't want to take up too much of your time because I'm already late uploading this video. So we're going to dive straight on into the description. Jewelry by you. Fill your collection with colorful new crystals and metals that can be used to create sparkling jewelry. Aspiring jewelers can build up their new skill by using the geometry table to cut crystals and get creative with jewelry customization all charged up search out crystals or pluck them off the crystal tree and get ready to supercharge charged crystals will affect the moods and lives of sims the pieces you craft will truly be life-changing dark and dreamy pair your shining creations with hints of mystery and intrigue the clothing and furniture in this pack is perfect for a cozy workroom there's even a set of dreamy jewelry created in collaboration with the simmer r the b and available in Cast. Before we get into the video, I would like to give you all a formal introduction on our household. I am obsessed with this couple. I am absolutely in love with them. So this here is Jude Tidewell. He is a self-proclaimed jewelry artisan and he sells most of his work on Popsy, which comes with the Sims 4 high school years. He is a level two in the brand new gemology skill, which I have called geology and all sorts of things. But I do believe this is a level 10 skill or a 10 level skill there is also a brand new aspiration with this stuff pack it is called crystal crafter it has four different levels in total which i think is kind of pretty standard for aspirations our goals for the first level are to buy a gemology table also to collect five crystals or metals and gift jewelry or successfully propose with a crafted ring dude is married so he isn't going to be proposing but you bet your bottom dollar he is going to gift his wife some handmade jewelry because that is his love language he is seriously such a good husband and i'm hikey in love with him like i love him so freaking much anyways the second level is a bobble broker which you guys can go and take a look at then we have gifted gemologist and the last one is legendary lapidary shine on as jude stares into the various angles and cuts of the crystal in front of him the universe seems to stare back is it fate should he take this as a sign that jude likes geometry i love when the game has the same vision I do so that is a yes for me to coincide with Jude's interests and his aspiration I have given him the maker trait I also have given him the collector trait well I didn't give it to him he got it from his aspiration which I think is obviously very fitting because he loves to collect collectibles he hasn't actually found any crystals or anything yet and I'm still kind of curious as to how the hell we get to that crystal mine but maybe we'll find that out I don't know um he's also hot-headed I don't want you guys to think poorly of him he's not hot-headed in the sense of where he like berates anybody or will take out his frustrations or anger out on you it's more like he's impatient do you know what I'm saying like if he messes up a piece or something takes longer than it should you might notice that he'll huff and puff and he might snap every now and again but never towards anyone in particular just always kind of like to himself and he's also a vegetarian which I just thought was kind of fitting given the vibe so this is Irene Tidewell, his beautiful wife of seven years. I love this woman. In fact, when I was making them and create a sim, their chemistry was undeniable. And I'll be so honest with you guys, it doesn't happen very often that I find two sims right off the bat that I'm like, oh my God, they were literally made for each other. Like, not kidding. Like, not that I made them, but like they were just, like, they were meant to be. Like, the Sim gods had it in their vision that these two were supposed to be united in holy matrimony. Okay. Because we all know Gen Sims very rarely are married. They very rarely have children. This, that, and the third. And I just love their chemistry together. I've been playing with them for just a little bit, and they're always loving on one another. They're always like checking in with each other. And what I love about Irene is she is quite literally. Jude's hype man you know he's been at this this jewelry artist artistry thing for a little bit now and he's definitely had some frustrations with it but she is forever in his corner pushing him to go harder pushing him to try new things and what I love about him is that his wife 
is his inspiration. Like he, she literally is the reason to keep going. He never wants to let her down. Um, Irene, you know, she, I wouldn't say she lacks her own identity, but she is very much a housewife, right? And she pours into her family. She wants children in the future. That's why she has the big happy family and aspiration. If it was up to her, she would have like two or three kids and I would love to see that for them. We'll just cross that bridge when we get to it. For her traits, let me show you guys. She is good. I think you kind of got that vibe. She's also a little bit clumsy. <laughs> she's family oriented and she's domestic. Financially speaking, things are pretty rough right now with only 84 civilians in the bank. She does have a part time job as a shelf stalker downtown at the shops on Hadford and Bagley, which I love for her. You know, she likes to um, chat with the locals and meet new customers. And she is a very social sim. So it's just kind of a good way for her to get out of the house and bring home a little bit of cash to help fund her. Her, her husband's dream Ian is calling so we're gonna ignore him but it's not just it's not just her husband's dream okay I do want to clarify it's their dream they would love to have a jewelry business like a actual jewelry shop here in Hedford at some point but naturally it's gonna take a little bit of time to get there so with that Jude actually has one of his pieces on Plopsy right now and it's been there for a little bit unfortunately nobody's buying his stuff he did just finish this ring here which I'm gonna show you guys it's actually really pretty it's really pretty oh my god look at that diamond so let me take you guys into create a sim really quick because I want to show you some of the cast assets and then I'm gonna take you guys back to the lot I'm gonna give you a little tour of the home I mean do I really need to do that <laughs> Probably not, but I do need to show you some of the build by items. Obviously, I've had some time to be able to spend in the cast catalog for the Sims 4 Crystal Creation. So I think my opinion on the cast catalog is pretty much narrowed down. We're going to start off with the males and we're going to check out their hairstyles. So in total, there is three. The first one that Jude is wearing is by far my favorite not only is it my favorite it's my favorite man bun the sims team has done today i absolutely am obsessed with it everything about it like the hairline the way that it looks like the profile and such just the bun itself i think it was very very well done the only thing that i would suggest is that there was a variation without the rings just so that it felt like it could be used by players of all types and it wasn't so nichey um and yeah I don't know. I just, I really, really like it. So, hey, <laughs> CC creators out there, if you could get rid of the rings, because I'm not trying to have my man look like Sonic, um, that would be great. Thanks. But I really do like it, though. I think they did a very good job on it. So even with the rings, it's still a pretty nice hairstyle. The next hairstyle is gender neutral, even though it kind of looks like something we've already seen done in the game time and time again. It is a little bit different. I love the volume. I love the style. I love the cut. If we turn it around, obviously, it kind of gets a little bit shorter in the back. There is a ombre variation of this hairstyle too. I'm not a big fan of it. Like, I'm really not. I just don't like it. I don't know. Just the way that it looks. I don't know what they could have done differently. I do appreciate that there's some blend here from the roots to the color. But other than that, I mean, even like the hairline's actually really good. But I just, the style, it's the style. I don't really like this one so much. Okay, so if we go into accessories, there is a one necklace that's unlocked. It has a nice uh, like kind of flat chain and then we have um, like a beaded chain with a pendant. This is the I guess the content created by R the B. I really like these a lot. I'll show you the earrings on Irene, but this is such a nice piece. And I like that again, it's very gender inclusive. So that's neat. Okay, if we go into the tops, there's only four different tops to choose from. The color story of this pack is very jewel toned, but I've noticed that's just been kind of the theme lately with the Sims team. I don't mind it personally. I think it just makes it so that I can use these pieces with other items within my collection. So I'm not like mad at it. There's also a cool little detail in the back where you can see the shirt underneath. I thought that was neat. This cardigan sweater thing though is just not for me. Maybe it would be for Gramps. Something about the cut on this and how low it is. I mean, I don't mind that Jude's chest hairs are showing, but like <laughs> something about it is just weird. I wish they could make things longer, but 
um from my experience working with them i think they're it's just they just they just can't like there's only like they, they can only make things go so long i guess i don't know anyways let's go and check out this one this is my second favorite piece i love this hoodie like i really love it i love it so much i like the buttons i love the color selection everything about it the patches on the elbows it's just it's chef's kiss it's really nice okay so this one I think it's kind of neat. We do have a couple items in the game that do resemble this, so it's not like proprietary to this pack, but I do like it. It gives me like old, like old vibes. Like, I don't know. Also, it kind of looks like maybe like a bartender would wear this, but I use this for Jude's ever. No, I'm sorry, formal outfit, which I'll show you kind of how I was able to pair these items and tie them into the game. I did try to use only the base game and this pack for his catalog but let me just tell you that was really hard to do so I did kind of bend the rules a little bit we do have one pair of bottoms here I like these I like them a lot actually I think they're really nice okay for shoes we do have some big old stomping boots with gold detail these are pretty cool like, I actually like these. I really do. Even though this pack does really remind me of Roma Magic, I think you can implement it in a way that would fit your gameplay style. But I'm going to be honest with you. It's very, very hard. It's super hard. We do have a couple of rings here that I can show off. Definitely not that one. That's base game. Why did that just reset like that? Sorry. <laughs> Let me just try this one more time. The first one is this Plum Bob ring. I guess the Sim Shop is kind Coming out with a real life version of this but it has like a, a green plum bob in the middle which I think is kind of neat and then we have this little ring here you can't really see it too well but it is a solitaire diamond with three little diamonds at the bottom I think this might be like a wedding slash engagement set and then there's a close up of the little plum bob ring there. So just going through the rest of his outfits, this is his formal outfit um, with some base game pants, base game boots. We have that new vest shirt combo. Uh, I don't really think I have anything here from the new pack, neither there either. For his party wear, this is kind of what I got going on. I paired the pants with a hoodie, gave him a beanie, and obviously he's wearing flip flops because that's just Jude's style. <laughs> <laughs> hot weather wear I don't think I did anything special there and I didn't really do anything for his winter wear either as you can see the clothing selection for this pack is super limited but stay tuned because there's actually one really cool freaking thing that I have to share with you that this pack actually introduces as a first like it's I guess it's never been done so you'll you'll, you'll see in a second so anyway um for hairstyles we're going into the women's section now we have the women's variation of that bun I do like it I love it actually I cannot wait to get a version without the rings you already saw these hairs so I'm just gonna go through I really love this one on Irene I think it like it just, I don't know, it looks really good on her. Really, really good. I love this curly hair too. I thought this was really pretty. There's like a little clip in the back with the barrette. I thought that was kind of neat. Not a huge fan of this swatch. Like it kind of looks gray a little. This hair, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it. Like this half updo, half down with like the middle part, but I love it and I think it suits Irene beautifully. So let's check out those earrings. I don't know if you guys can see them. It's a little hard but they're just like some hoops with additional piercings. Nothing too crazy there. I thought those were really cute. And remember, there are more like accessories and stuff within the game itself. Um, we just have to build them and unlock them. So I guess we're just gonna dive into full body for Irene because she's already here. We have this beautiful dress that comes in a bunch of different colors. Thought that was kind of cute. Love the back on that. Um, this one kind of reminds me of something we already have in game. I want to say maybe it came with the paranormal stuff pack, but I'm not entirely sure. It doesn't really impress me too much, honestly. It's okay. It's not great. I'm sorry. Um, this one, I don't hate it. Um, I don't know if I would really have my Sims wear this, but I mean, it's cute. I like the little vest detail on it, and I love the sleeves. 
it's not that it's just not my style you know what i mean and that's okay not every pack is going to be my style this one however is perfect for realm of magic so really if you are somebody who's trying to expand your realm of magic like aesthetic this is for you because these clothes will go perfectly perfectly with that vibe and also like some of these items i guess could work for your traditional more regular sims but i mean i just i think this pack is very niche and it's quite honestly obvious in the direction in which it's leaning this little blouse here is really cute i think i was able to make this work um with something for irene which you'll see here in a little bit but i like it i love i love the collar the little ruffles on the sleeves it's nice i, I mean i don't really have anything bad to say about it um this skirt isn't bad either uh, i don't really think it goes very well with this blouse and i think that's exactly what it was meant to go with um but yeah i don't know i don't really know if i like that one too much the shoes though i love the shoes these remind me of like cinderella slippers so i was a little surprised to see them with this pack i mean it goes with the theme right crystals so i i mean it makes sense i think these boots are probably my favorite at first i was like mm, i don't know will i really use these but i was able to implement them into her outerwear and i think they really made the outfit so you already saw her every day her everyday wear right um oh i almost forgot there is a pair of stockings here so let me show you what they look like they go up to the thigh i don't believe they're oh no they are semi-transparent um but they have like this little like i don't know what the hell that's called argyle print for the rest of her outfits i did what i could but her party outfit is definitely just giving i love the blouse that came with this stuff pack with the base game skirt and then some base game boots i thought that was really nice so here's kind of like a general idea of how i styled the pack i don't think i did anything else with it oh i did give her those earrings in her uh hot weather wear and i thought those really dressed up the outfit very nicely and for her winter wear i paired the boots with the stuff pack with this jacket from horse ranch and i almost gagged at how well they fit together like i thought they looked so stinking freaking good so that's kind of what i did with irene but let me show you something else that was kind of surprising about the stuff pack catalog i won't be taking a deep dive into the toddler and children section of the cast catalog for this pack but I did want to show you guys something interesting. When I heard that they had finally implemented earrings for toddlers into The Sims 4, I thought somebody was lying, but it turns out to be true. The only thing that kind of bothers me about this is, well, a couple things. A, I think they're way too big for a toddler. I mean, come on, that's huge. But also, I'm upset that they aren't available for adults either because these earrings right here are quite honestly something I've been wanting for a very long time. So let me tell you, when I say I'm excited for CC Creators, to get their hands on this pack i'm not playing i know we already touched base on the brand new aspiration for this stuff pack but just in case you're kind of skipping through the video i did want to highlight it one more time so again there is one brand new aspiration and it's actually under the nature category and it's called crystal crafter it says this sim wants to cut gemstones craft jewelry and harness the power of crystals and to my knowledge there isn't any other brand new traits there isn't any other brand new aspirations and heck there's not even a new job for this stuff pack so i'm really hoping the gameplay makes up for it because i'm already feeling like there's just there's just not a lot happening here <laughs> I'll be honest, I was a little surprised with how small build buy was and the fact that we didn't get any build assets. We did get one brand new wallpaper, which you guys have seen. It's in the home currently, but yeah, a little shocked, a little shocked at how small the catalog is. I'm really hoping there's enough gameplay to make up for it, but we'll have to see because I haven't really done a lot of gameplay just yet anyway, like on my own. So anyways, the first item is the professional armchair. Really like this armchair. It does work at a table to you. It kind of looks like a desk chair, but it does work at the table. We have the tuft love seat, the classic compact console table, the workshop perk table, um, the crystal clear coffee table with a really cool design on it. Then we have a gem finds dream 
bureau. It's like a little desk, basically. It has like a checkered print tabletop to it. And then we have a series of different shelvings. So this is like the little um, shelving by Blick Block. Basically, you can put things in it and you can also stack them too if you want. They do go on the floor, I believe, and they also can go on the wall to display your creations. There is, and then we have the final finale, which is another beautiful shelf, the undignified display shelf, which I actually used in my kitchen as like a little cabinet, which I'll show you how I did that in just a minute in case you guys didn't see it. Then there's the dignified display shelf and the dignified display closet. They kind of go hand in hand. I really like this and I love the fact that you can actually put things in it and I'll show you what I mean in just a moment but here is the gameplay object the all-in-one gemology table by Humphrey Incorporated so this functions off the grid the only thing I do wish is that they would have had like a different variation that I feel like anybody like of all different type of gameplay aesthetics or what have you could play like gameplay styles if you will because again I do feel like this pack is like very very Realm of Magic-esque even though Someone might disagree, but I just think it is. We also have the classically cool sales table, which leads me to believe that you can sell your creations. Mystical Moonlight Crystal Grid. This is where you would charge your crystals to give them those superpowers. This unfathomable, unfathom, I can't say it, the unfathomable little fern. <laughs> It's my favorite. I love this piece. Like this is this is going in all of my builds. I just I don't know. There's something about her. She's just really cute. I I just I love the swatches. I can't even speak. She's got me speechless, but super cute. Love the crystalline vivarium. It's like a little terrarium, but with crystals. And then there is a couple little prints here, too that we can also kind of throw up in our home. So this one just has like four different little swatches of crystals and I guess it tells you about them maybe. This is kind of neat because it has like all different sorts of like lunar phases and pictures and whatnot. Um, so that was kind of nice. This mirror is really freaking pretty. I think it's called the Artisan's Glass, which is kind of where I got the name Jewelry Artisan from. And then we have Cordelia's Bust, which I thought you would be able to put a necklace on. You can't. It's kind of sad. <laughs> But I have some good news. The pretty pieces display box is functional. You can actually put your items inside it and uh, we'll have to get into that when we can get into it. But I thought that was cool. So this is functional. Believe it or not, it functions as like a little storage box. And we have ourselves the uh, Austrial Attunement rug. I have no idea what the hell that is, but I really like this. You can even see like the fabric, like how it's all woven. Oof. This is really pretty. This is really pretty. I, I do feel like if you're a good a good builder or have a creative mind, you can make these pieces work for everyday gameplay, especially if you have a sim that's like into crafting and stuff. You you can make it happen. I love this little um, tool rack with like the saw. We have um, pliers and a hammer and all sorts of things. Uh, we have the Gemologies field kit, which I thought was really cool. And then is that the gemologist gemologist field kit? Sorry, I had to had to go back and fix that. And then the jewelry's tray, which is another little decor item. Um, we've got the field box, which has like a bunch of different crystals and stuff. It'd be kind of cool if you could like take this with you and it functioned as like a little storage box. It might. I actually don't know. I'd have to play around with it. And I'm, I mean, it would make sense. This is functional. Like, why couldn't you? take this and store your crystals in it like that would have been freaking cool um and yeah the little jewelry box is also really really neat here hopefully you guys can see all the little detail there um this is super cute i love that this functions off the grid but this is in oil lamp i really was excited about that the flame is indeed animated this is cool too the shine so bright spotlight i really like this light it's in our house at the moment and i don't know i like the way that it kind of emits like a nice little glow really warms up the space i know a lot of people are excited about the uh, enthusiasm book cases specifically the one that's giving beauty and the beast vibes with the little ladder hold on i gotta cheat just a little bit more but this one is really cool i think this would be perfect for like a library or something you could do so much with these items i do feel like there's enough inclusivity with these pieces that you could again implement them into your regular gameplay it doesn't have to be so niche -y. you just got to get creative with it but look at all of these pieces I'm seriously so like, I don't know. I don't know how I, I don't, it doesn't, 
while it doesn't look like I'll admit it doesn't look like it's a lot when you're looking at it here in the catalog, but once you actually get your hands on it, it's like, okay, you know, there's definitely a nice little assortment here of items. Um, really quick, if you guys don't mind, I do want to show you how some of the display cases and shelves look. So this is what this looks like to put your item in. You can put it on top, you can put it inside, you can put um, your item on top of like the shelf. You can put it uh, on this little display here, cabinet thing, whatever you want to call it um, there as well. And then obviously you could just kind of fill this entire armoire with your with your pieces. Uh, let me just go into live mode for a second. I don't know if I should do that though. Uh, it's fine. Um, and then I want to see if I'm able to. Oh my God. Okay, so the jewelry box is functional. I did not know that. This sucks that this isn't. I really do wish this was. So you can put your crystals in here because again, it just kind of makes sense. But yes, this jewelry box is functional. And so is this little jewelry display case. So I need to, and they have their own inventory too, which is nice. I mean, is that to be expected? I don't know. Sometimes I feel like things don't work the way that you would expect them to but seriously what a sweet little surprise oh all my talking put them to sleep you guys <laughs> don't they look adorable laying on this little bed together but see what i was talking about earlier how i use this little shelving display as a cabinet these i think came with these counters here actually came with um snowy escape but i just i loved the way that that looked you have like the little fern here the print i thought that was super sweet the lamp um, this is how I styled the chairs. If you look really close, you can actually see some wear in the chairs, which gives them that vintagey look. Super neat. And then in here with the screened in porch is where I put the little um, gemologist table. I really, really love this little space. We have um, our like salt lamp. I think this came with the pastel pop kit. I thought that was really cool that I could implement this into this theme. And we have our little display case and bust that doesn't do anything. So anyways, I know this is weird to end this here because we really haven't done any gameplay, but I'm going to create another video where I focus on gameplay. This video was more about like introductions and showing you create a sim and like showing you the build buy items. But I'll have that video up today. I'm actually going to record it right after this, but I want to get something up quickly for you guys so that you know I'm not leaving you totally hanging. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think about Jude and Irene and what do you think about this pack so far? Anyways, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did you know what to do don't forget to go ahead and comment rate and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine and i will see you all next time all those little moments.